Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to configure and use the DNN Simple Article module, which we installed in the previous video. Now, we're also going to be utilizing the categorization of the taxonomy features built into .NET Nuke, which we also configured in a previous video. So we're going to go through and we're going to configure the settings for our simple article module, which is already on a page within our .NET Nuke website. Then we're going to go through the process of creating an article and associating categories to that article, editing the article, and then we'll take a look at how we can view the article. Now in an additional video, we're going to show you how you can then implement Facebook comments within the DNN simple article module using the Razor module that comes with .NET Nuke 5.6.1. So for now, we'll go ahead and switch over to our .NET Nuke website, which is running on a Windows 7 machine using an installation of Microsoft's Web Matrix. We went through and we installed .NET Nuke. We went in, we installed the Simple Article module, and we created a page called Simple Article with that module on the page in previous videos. So from here, we have the module on a page. I'm currently logged in as an administrator. And what you'll typically do when you install a module on a page is you'll then go in and configure the module settings. All modules are going to have settings, so we'll go ahead into the settings for this particular module. Now within the module settings, the first kind of couple sections on the page are going to be our, our default module settings that every module has. And we can see that the type of module that we're managing settings for is the DNN simple article. We could go through and we could configure permissions. We could configure some of our page settings, which would allow us to change the container. But down towards the bottom, we have a custom module settings section. Now, these are specific settings for the DNN simple article module. So we have the ability to configure the page size for the module. We can also choose to show or not show categories. And then we have an option here to delete all articles if we wanted to empty the module. So for now, we'll just go ahead and click on Update. That's going to save those settings that are by default configured there. From there, we're going to be able to create an article. So we'll go to the Actions menu for the Simple Article module and choose the Add Article option. Now when we add articles into the module, we have a title field, we have a description field, the body of the article, and then categories that we can choose down below. We're going to go ahead and populate a few articles in here. Now I'm just going to take content from press releases that we have available on .netnuke.com and use those as the content for our article. So I'm just pasting in information here as our description, and then I'm going to paste in the full press release as the article itself. So as I copy that from a different screen, I'll bring it over into the screen where we're recording the video. And I paste the contents of the article or the press release here. So the simple article module allows us to define that title, description, and then body. And then we can go ahead and associate the article with specific categories. Now we configured categories in the previous video using the taxonomy features within .NET Nuke. And I'm going to go ahead and assign this press release to a few categories. Now the categories we've created here don't really relate to the uh, press release, but we'll use those just because that's what we created in the previous video. So when you choose a category, as of right now, the way the category list works, you have to choose a category. The page does do a post back, and if you want to associate another category, then you need to choose the category drop-down list again and then check the box next to that additional category. We can assign multiple categories to an article, or we could choose to assign a single one or not choose any categories at all. So I've chosen two categories for this article. I'll go ahead and click on Save Article, and that's going to save the article into the module. Now you can see our article displays here. We have our title, we have the description, and then we're showing the categories for that particular article. Now before we go into that further, let's go ahead and just create a few additional articles. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to click Add Article, and I'm going to go and copy one of those existing press releases so we can populate the article content. And we'll go ahead and choose categories yet again. And for this article or this press release, I'll just choose one category, the site news category. And then I'll save the article, which will then take us back to the simple article page and show us the new article 
above the old article. Now, as an administrator or an editor, we have the ability to edit an article. We can also delete individual articles. So if we want to edit an article, we just click on the edit button and that'll take us to the edit interface, which is exactly like the add article interface, just pre-populated with the information for that particular article. So we can make changes here. We could go ahead and hit cancel if we don't want to make any changes to that article. Now with each of these articles, we can click on the title. And that's going to take us to a view for that particular article. It's going to show us the full article itself. So it shows the title at the top here and then the article itself, which in this case starts with new solution and goes down towards the bottom. Now at the bottom of the article, again, we're showing the categories. And what the categories and the taxonomy within the article module allows you to do now is to click on a category and that's going to take us to the .NET Nuke search results page. And on that page, we have an articles or a uh, content item module, which will display a list of articles tagged with a particular category. Now, right now, the simple article module isn't fully utilizing all of the features that are available within the .NET Nuke uh, content items with the ability to define a title and a meta description. So the search results are a little off here. It actually shows you kind of the full description here as our hyperlink and our description for our article. But we can click on that and take us back to the article display. Now a future version of the module will kind of better customize and tailor that information that gets displayed on the uh, taxonomy page or the results page. And I can go back to the simple article page itself which shows us the listing of articles and I can choose any of those categories and see a listing of articles for those categories. Right now we only have two articles so there's not a whole lot to do here from an article perspective but as we were to increase the amount of articles we have on our site and that paging kicks in Using categories within .NUC is going to allow us to filter, allow our users to filter which articles they're seeing and be able to get more detailed kind of filtering for a specific category if they want to see other articles related to the article that, that they're currently viewing. Now, when you go into an article, if you want to preview an article or view an article, once you're viewing the full article, the actions menu actually changes. You have the ability there to click edit article within the actions menu, which will take us to the edit interface. The same as clicking on the edit link in the article listing side. So the simple article module is just that. It's a very simple module for displaying a list of articles, title, description, and then a view for each of those articles using the new categorization built into .NET Nuke, starting with version 5.4. Now, in a future video, we're going to show you how you can integrate Facebook comments onto the individual articles. So you're going to be able to go through and associate Facebook comments for each article and allow users who are logged into Facebook to be able to add comments to these articles. If we scroll to the bottom of one of the articles now, you'll notice that there are no comment sections. Now, adding Facebook comments is going to allow us to kind of better reach into the social markets and try to get incoming links and incoming traffic into our site. So we'll take a look at that in a future video. For now, if you'd like more information on our .NET Nuke training, I'd encourage you to check out the training page with the URL visible here on the screen. From there, we have a variety of free videos, instructor-led training, as well as custom on-site and online training options. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.